So this is the first guinea pig enclosure, the one that we are doing up and this is the first thing we have added. We made a cute little ramp with little side rails and a fleece little grip pad and then a thing over here and the little door to the house behind there will be right there so I have to go up the ramp to go in there. Got a little bamboo decoration there and we are just going to add these three rocks as little stepping stones for them to climb onto pretty big rocks as well and we have got this tube to go next to them and then we've got a whole wheelbarrow full of dirt to go over top of the tube so that will be a little tunnel in a dirt mound for them to run through so here is the little tube around the rocks in the mound going to get a couple more tufts of grass to just place in it to help the grass but it is looking so awesome that the guinea pigs will love running straight through that and going in it to hide. So, we got this roof on the top here, still gotta do one more screw, but it is very sturdy. Got the two poles cut on either side, rain will run off it nicely, and that is awesome. Looks absolutely great. So, here's the roof from this angle. Looks absolutely awesome, and we have just built this little ramp here we got a log that was a lot longer and we used a miter saw to cut it into inch thick little blocks and then we screwed them together to any orientation that we liked and wanted and did it in an awesome configuration like this because we have a nice big house that will be going here so this is leading to the house they can come out go up here do whatever they want it is looking awesome and it rained last night so this dirt is more compacted now so we got this little house it was originally built for doves but we're going to use it for the guinea pigs as it'll look awesome there's little cosmo eating grass but it has these little slots which we will paint blue they will slot in all of these slots and be an absolutely adorable roof to it but all those will be painted dark blue all this trim and the top thing which we got a top piece for it as well they'll be white and then the main body of it will be a light blue so that will look awesome and inside is two levels so a bottom level and a top level they were sectioned in half because there's two doors so we just unscrewed one of the halves that will take out so it's a little corridor and then we will patch one of the holes so it's not like a hallway so it's nice and secure for them that is done we have put the roof on we have cleaned it out so if i take this off then you can see well you can't see because it's too dark in here but we pulled all of there we go pulled the middle things out that are right there and then we patched this hole over here so that they can't go out so that is awesome now they have a nice little home just got to silicone the roof pieces in so it's waterproof and then paint it so we are starting to paint it and it is looking so awesome painted the white trim we've also got the headpiece over there we're painting white got all the other panels that we're painting yellow it is looking awesome still got to finish painting that but that will go there but look at that yellow and white looks so good and then a nice light purple for the body this is looking absolutely amazing and Cosmo is loving it as well that is now done got it all assembled it is looking awesome now we've just got to bring it and place it into the guinea pig pen okay now got the house in there that looks absolutely amazing this guinea pig pen is so cute now and tomorrow we're getting the supplies to build the back winter house and yeah I am so happy with this so we have all of the boxwood here we got it in longer lengths we've got to cut all the lengths in half and stuff but we got the circular saw to do that so I will cut all the lengths and then we'll start to be able to assemble the guinea pig house this is the framework of the guinea pig house we did it three high we were originally going to do it too high but a little too tall for our liking because they're only guinea pigs very short so we're going to use extra boxwood to make platforms and stuff in there for them but now time to do the roof all these 
work perfectly. They will fit on the top like that and that will be awesome. Now we just got to connect those with some beams and then put some corner supports in this so that they're all connected. We have been doing a lot of work on this. We got the little white poles in each corner attached it so that's sturdy and then we got the wood on the top looking absolutely beautiful and then we got one of the pieces as it wasn't exact length so we used the circular saw and cut it all the way down so that's why there's a thinner piece there so we cut one of these pieces there's the off cut but yeah now we've just got to attach them with some more white beams going across on the underneath and that will look awesome and attach hinges so the house is in place right here we have cut a hole as you can see through there we've cut a hole above that ramp that leads into there and we've got a hole in this it is elevated perfectly add the handle the undersides and the hinges and also we have silicone in between here got to do another layer of silicone but just to waterproof it as well as clear plastic over the top but it opens very nicely as you can see the three support beams and we have started insulating the inside with those insulated lining that is safe for the animals it's like a nice wool close that works perfectly they will love this big house for them the grass has been growing so much all the flowers coming through we are getting the guinea pigs today so we are doing a few things first but the pen is looking absolutely awesome. Got to attach a little hay holder there. We've got a bunch of Timothy hay for them and the little house, as you can see, the roof up there. We have drilled a hole in there. It is looking awesome going into the house. And if I come around here, I just attached these white things on either side. So it creates a little slot for this piece of corrugated plastic. It just nicely slots in there so that we can divide this house as well as anyone at all coming through there we get stopped by that and then they can come to the back bit through there so that is nice and just adds them a little bit to their house a little bit of tunnels to go through which is awesome and then a little dish for their pallets in there so that it's away from the rain doesn't get wet so yeah that is awesome so would you look at that look how cute they are one's in that little red house that the people had for them and gave to us it is so cute like a little barn and also we have one of those little arched house things and they are gonna love it in here they got a bunch of fruits and veggies there that they're snacking on as well as all the grass and we have some shavings in their house that i'll show you in a second so that they can go in there and have a nice comfy bedding so in the house we have the hay holder, another water bottle, we have one outside as well, a little dish that we're going to use for a small amount of pallets every now and then, and then the cute little divider that that can slide in and out of, with a little hole they can run in and out, and all filled with the bedding, they should love it in here. So the guinea pigs have settled in super nicely, they're getting more used to us and more familiar with their pen and everything in it. We bought a bunch of vegetables that are good for the guinea pigs because they'll be easy to buy for with store-bought things like we bought some blueberries, oranges, capsicum, cucumber, all that yummy stuff that they will enjoy eating and they just ran back with a whole silver beet leaf that they are enjoying. There is Inca and I think that one's Luna and then Nova in the house there with the silver beet. They are loving it and running away with some cucumber. These guys have gotten so much more confident and friendly with us. We can get right up to them, hand feed them, all that stuff. But they are loving their grass. As you can see, they demolished this pen. But hopefully, since it's summer, in the autumn and spring and stuff, that should grow back nicely. I can see it's starting to grow back. Stormy's pen died down fully when she was first in here, and that's growing back nicely as well. Hi, little girl. She's doing great in this pen. Once we get the rabbit aviary starting to be built over here, she'll be able to roam this pen as well again as she misses that. But these guys are doing so well in their area as well as we put clear plastic over this whole thing. So this is waterproof and it stays a lot warmer now. It is like an oven in there in the summer, but it should be nice and warm in the winter. But it's nice and windy, so they 
uh, a nice temperature out here especially they have all their houses and shade areas and stuff they are loving it but I think that concludes the video on the guinea pigs here they are so adorable I'm so glad we got them but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time